One of the most practical and useful pieces of VBA code to learn early on is how to find the last row of your data. To demonstrate this, let's look at a list of individuals who signed up for a weekly seminar where some weeks have more or less attendance than others. We always want to know how many individuals signed up for a given week without having to count them through another means. If we look closely, we can see the last row of data is in row 21. Or in other words, we had 20 individuals sign up this week. To avoid doing this manually or using a formula, let's find the last row dynamically in VBA. There are a number of ways to achieve this, but here we'll focus on one specific method that I find I typically use the most. We can begin by using the cells property, and then we'll want to type rows.count for the row index, followed by a 1 for the column index. The rows.count function returns the total number of rows in your worksheet, and the 1 for the column index tells Excel we want to focus on column A specifically. This on its own isn't helpful. So we need to use the end XL up property to tell Excel to find the first non-blank cell from the bottom of the sheet in column A. Lastly, we need to use the row property to close off the statement, which tells Excel we are looking for a row number. Running the macro, we see the result to be 21 as expected. If we assume a week has gone by, and now we add an additional five names and then run the macro again, we see the result to now be 26. When it comes to managing, handling, and manipulating dynamic data sets, this line of code will save you headaches and a ton of time.